I recently did a video comparing Linux Mint with MX Linux. And one of the things I observed along the way is there is actually a Raspberry Pi version of MX Linux. Now I asked you in the comments, would you like to see a video about how to install MX Linux on a Raspberry Pi? And the response was yes. So that is what we're gonna do in this video. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so MX Linux will work on a Raspberry Pi 4 and a Raspberry Pi 5, and that includes a Raspberry Pi 400 and the Raspberry Pi 500. I'm going to install it on a Raspberry Pi 4 with four gigabytes of RAM. It's worth asking the question, why would you want to do this? Well, of course, if you're starting out with the Raspberry Pi, you should definitely go with Raspberry Pi OS. That is the most integrated experience. However, once you've gained some experience, then maybe you want to try some other Linux distributions. Maybe you're already using MX Linux on a different computer and you'd like the same environment on your Raspberry Pi. It's also a learning experience. It's also good fun. So you can just go over and do it. The great thing is because you're downloading onto an SD card, if you just keep your original setup on a other SD card and then just use a second one, you can always swap them back and reboot into whatever environment you had before so you don't lose anything along the way. The first thing to do is to go over to the MX Linux website, go to the download section, and then in the version with the XFCE desktop, you'll find a Raspberry Pi respin. Download that file. It's a zip file. You need to unzip it and inside you'll find an image file. Next, go over to the Raspberry Pi imager, and then you need to select that as a custom ROM, as a custom image. Go down and select the image that you've just downloaded and unzipped. You also need to select the media, the SD card that you want to write it on. Write it onto that SD card and wait for that whole process to finish. Then you simply need to pop it into your Raspberry Pi and boot up. When I first booted it up, it seemed to do a shutdown at one point and didn't reboot. So I did actually need to unplug the power and plug it back in again, but then it worked fine after that. After a quick reboot or two, you should find that MX Linux is up and running and it should work perfectly well with your Raspberry Pi. For example, you get uh, the Wi-Fi drivers are all built in. So I just went over and connected to my Wi-Fi without any problem. Now, once you've got MX Linux up and running, you can do all, anything you can do on MX Linux. For example, here I'm going to go to the packages and install Thony. Thony is a great IDE, integrated development environment for people who are learning Python and you can start writing Python and run it here on your Raspberry Pi. Of course, the big talk at the moment, of course, is always uh, AI and large language models. So you can go and you can install something like Olama. And then because this is the four gigabyte version, you can run a one billion parameter version of a model and then start asking it questions. Now, one of the disadvantages of running MX Linux compared to, let's say, Raspberry Pi OS is that you miss out on integrated services, for example, like Raspberry Pi Connect. But if you're not using that service and you're interested in using that service, then you could give MX Linux a try. OK, so there you go. MX Linux on the Raspberry Pi. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I do hope you like this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.